My next guest is taking on an amazing challenge for charity. Russ Cook, the man known as Hardest Geezer, is on day 293 in his attempt to run the entire length of Africa. Hardest Geezer, what a great name. Russ Cook joins me now live from Mauritania <laughs> in the Sahara. Oh, for goodness sake, yes. how are you doing? I'm not, I'm not doing too bad. I've literally just, uh, just come off a bout of food poisoning yesterday. So I'm a little bit shaky, but it's all good. I'm going to motor on through. You're hard as nails. You really are. You're in, you're in this wee van where you sleep. I know you sleep in there, yeah, and have, you can sometimes Correct. have a wee rest. Yeah. What's it like out your window, though? What, what's happening out I'll, there? I'll, show I'll me, show I'll me. Show you. Go on, then. Yeah. <laughs> we're, in, we're in the capital city of Mauritania, which is called uh, Nuuk no, no Shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I believe that's how it's pronounced. Yep. Um, oh, wow. It's not too much going on here today. Oh, it's lovely. But I'm going to go and see the uh, Algerian embassy. Yes. That's the thing, because you've got to get into it. It's Algeria next, and then you finish up in Tunisia, and you'll have done the whole thing. There have, shall we say, been incidents along the way. Um, the Democratic Republic of Congo, I can't believe you ran through that, that, that country. It got a bit scary, didn't it? It really did. A little, little bit scary, yeah. It um, was, was quite a uh, hairy time there after. I was being kidnapped and um, spent a couple of days having away in the jungle. I had to get rescued by my team. It was uh, all a bit, all a bit manic, but we made it through. Um, so you know, it's just part of the story now. It's an amazing story. I mean, I should tell people: South Africa, as Andy said, Namibia, Angola, the DRC, Cameroon, Nigeria, Benin, Togo, Guyana, Ivory Coast, Guinea, Senegal. You're now in Mauritania then Algeria, then Tunisia. But tell me why. What, what, is, what is motivating you on this amazing trek? Well, I mean, there's so many reasons. I think no one's ever done it before. That was a good motivating reason to get going. I, I love a challenge and this was a massive one. It's also a great opportunity to see parts of the world where no, one, no one's really been, no one goes. Uh, and try and do some good on the way as well. Obviously, trying to raise some money for charity as well. So, you know, loads of different reasons, but those are a few. Exactly. And raising money for charity, that's, that's, what, that's what will keep you going too. Now, you say you're not going to cut your beard or your hair until yeah, you make yeah. it till the end. You're like, you said it earlier on, you're, like, you're, you're the African Forrest Gump. It's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. fantastic. I've even got a little ponytail now. Look at me oh, going. I like too that. Much. I like that. Look wow. at you there. That is wonderful. <laughs> now, look, as you are running through all of these countries, you kind of stand out a wee bit, I would say. What okay. sort of reaction are you getting, especially from kids? They'd be so excited to see you. What What's the reaction yeah. being from people? The, the kids the kids normally go one way or the other. They're normally like dead excited to see me and like can't actually they're looking at me like I'm an alien like wow <laughs> it's a man with red hair or you know I've had the total opposite reaction and people be absolutely petrified running off crying and screaming oh, no. to their mum and dads from like they're like the, the mums and dads always laughing but um you know yeah it goes one way or the other normally I know but it's brilliant I mean you you you'll be spreading joy as well as a little bit of terror but mostly joy <laughs> which is good yeah. But I, I guess the, I know the challenges of just getting from one country to the next, you know, the paperwork and, and all of that, that's, you know, it's not just the fact that you're running. That's that's tough enough, but it's everything else that you and your team have got to deal with. Yeah, no, exactly. You know, the heat, the weather, the, the conditions, the lack of roads sometimes, the the borders, the checkpoints, the, it's, it is, you know, non-stop out here. There's just problem after problem, but we... We bat them down and then, you know, one day we will get to Tunisia and have a big old pie. Oh, I bet you will. That'll be really emotional. Send us, send yeah. us, keep in touch. Do us a wee video, send us it when you, when, you, when you make it. And will you come in here and see me so I can cut your ponytail off? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no I'd love to do all. that. I'd love Thanks. to sit, and I'd, lo I'd love to sit down and talk to you because you're a smashing fella for ages. Um, great to talk to you. Good luck with everything that you do. Spread more joy than terror. <laughs> and thank you for talking to me today. I think you're amazing. Nice. Amazing. Thanks, thank thanks. you. Thank you for having me on. Oh, Cheers, guys. I absolutely love people like that. I really do. I really do.